Hey guys, so I'm back with my updated go-to makeup look, which is this. I feel like I haven't done makeup on my channel in a while, so we all in the house bored. Why not? Um, I feel like I do my makeup kind of different than I used to, so I just thought I'd update those of you who care. So if you want to see how I do my makeup and catfish the internet, <laughs> keep watching. Okay, so I look crazy, but it's okay. I've been in the house for too long. What do you want me to do about it? I start by moisturizing. My skin is literally so dry. My moisturizer has SPF in it, which is good for your skin. Even when it's cloudy. So I start with my brows. I think I've always really started with my brows. I'm not going to be saying the products I use just because I don't want to take up too much time. But if you want to know, you can comment below and I'll answer. So I'm just going to brush up my brow. I recently plucked my brows so that they're like shorter this way because they used to come down long. Because you know, I want that snatched look. <laughs> I don't really take doing my brows too seriously. I don't know why. Maybe I should, but I just kind of throw them on there. Okay, so after that, I take concealer on the back of my hand and I just kind of let it warm up a little bit. I just feel like products work better when they're warm. And then I take this flat brush and line them. And then I just pull that down onto my lid because I'm going to be priming with concealer anyways. That just cleans it up so nice. Like, that's crazy. So then I take my beauty blender and just dip it and finish my eyelid. Wow, I already look like a new person. But now I usually do eyeshadow, so I'm just going to be doing a little simple, usually my go-to eyeshadow look. I'm going to set it with translucent powder first just a little bit it's not that deep i don't know i always just wing it with eyeshadow like wherever my brush takes me for real so i just kind of go into like neutral shades and just see where it takes me but i do like to go in the direction of like the cat eye because as i've said before i like this pulled up look you know so I just kind of randomly blend up towards the tail of my eyebrow. And I always blend like into my nose because it's just going to connect to my nose contour. So if everything's blended, it just looks better, you know? I say you know after every sentence. As the color gets darker, I feel like you should use smaller brushes so it blends more concentrated, you know? Oh my god, I said you know again. I like to keep like my crease really high. So it just makes my eyes look bigger, I think. Like my lid space. Like I almost blended into my eyebrow pretty much. And I'll always even like drag it to my hairline for real. I wish I had a more detailed eyeshadow routine, but I really just don't. And then I always like to go over my lash line and then like connect it kind of. Okay, I'm going to take a cooler brown and like a smaller brush just to kind of like balance the shades. I just be making stuff up. And now I'm just going to grab like a darker brown. And line my lash line a little more. I always like to just take the nude shade on my finger and pat that onto my lid. I feel like it just like cleans it up a little bit. So I always use this green concealer because my cheeks are so red and they need help. So I just kind of put it on my redness and then I use an orange concealer for my dark circles because <laughs> we died over here. 
it, this is just supposed to cancel out like any dark shadows so you could even put it like on these shadows Sometimes your finger is the best thing to blend with. Now I pour foundation on the back of my hand to warm it up. You already know. Okay, so then I just dab it onto my face. And then I blend with a beauty blender. Now I do concealer on the back of my hand. And then I use my concealer brush that I used for my eyebrows and tap it around just to warm it up. And then I put it under my eye, kind of like onto my nose. And then I bring it down to above my lip. And I blend each part as I go. Look how much better this under eye looks already from that one. On my chin, I need more here, <laughs> my forehead, and down my nose. And I always take what's left on my hand and do like my jawline. Okay, now I take this same beauty blender and bake under my eyes. I just kind of pat this to brighten and smooth and then wherever I would have like fine lines like smile lines forehead chin and then I take pressed translucent powder and do the rest of my face and then I kind of just wipe away this extra okay now bronzer I don't hold back on the bronzer let me just say that and I aim to do the same shape as my eyeshadow so like up and I start right here and just kind of pat it and then go in circular motions to blend so I think my biggest tip for bronzer is to not be afraid to go too high. I think that's what a lot of people are scared of. And I kind of trace the shape of my cheekbone, so like under here with the bronzer. And then I do my jawline. And then my forehead around it. For nose contour, I just use the same bronzer and a smaller brush, and I just go down my nose, and you just can't hold back. I connect it to my eyeshadow, and really just blend out my nose, and then I go under my nose, I think you really just can't be afraid to contour. You can always just blend it out like you're not going to mess anything up. And then I take a fluffier brush and just blend it out some more. So then I take my beauty blender and setting powder and I go down just to like snatch it some more. We want to look like we can't breathe over here. Just a simple pink blush. So I focus here. And don't be afraid to get too close to your eye. And then I just drag it upward. Blend it with the bronzer. I just kind of put it random lacing. And wipe away the powder. And then I like to bake under my contour. Just kind of in the shape that my cheekbone goes. While that is setting a little bit, I'll put brow gel. 
just to keep them in place. And I'm going to put some shadow under my eye. This is another step I just feel like you can never go too hard on. Like it just always looks good. So I'm going to wipe this away. I like to put a white liner on my bottom lash line. This will make your eyes look bigger. I'm going to put my lashes on off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to blend my lashes. Just a little bit, really. Bottom lashes. Am I doing the mascara face? Okay. So, for lips, I do a brown liner. Not all the way to the ends. Kind of like in the circle shape. That's going to make them look more full. And then I take a lighter brown and blend it in the corner. So now I'm going to take this Fenty lip paint. This is shade Unbutton. Try not to rub your lips together until it's like dry. So now that it's dry, I'm gonna blend with the brown liner a little more. And there you have it. So this is the final look. <gasps> I forgot to set my makeup. How could I? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video if you want, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.